DM shop. I'll be waiting for you. Hey everybody, welcome to TCM, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. If you've been watching TCM since August 1st, then you know we're celebrating our Summer Under the Stars Festival all month. One star, 24 hours straight. This morning at 6 Eastern, we kicked off our salute to star number 23, a real favorite of ours around here at TCM, Ernest Borgnine. Borgnine, an enormously likable man, may be best known for playing characters audiences identified with, like Marty, but he definitely didn't start out that way. Instead, Borgnine was usually the heavy, the bad guy who kills Frank Sinatra in From Here to Eternity. Coming up next, we have another movie where you wouldn't want to scuffle with Borgnine. It's from 1955, Bad Day at Black Rock. Spencer Tracy stars as a stranger who arrives in the small, isolated town of Black Rock with some business to tend to, but the town folk, they clearly don't want him there. This is a film that defies labels. It certainly has its hybrid Western quality, but it's also been called an action movie for people who don't really like action movies because it's not filled with wall-to-wall -wall fights, chase scenes, and elaborate stunts. Indisputable is that it has a good story, a mounting sense of tension, and a terrific cast. In addition to Borgnine and Tracy, you'll see Robert Ryan and Lee Marvin, a couple of other actors who were nice livings in the 1950s, playing menacing bad guys, which they get to do here. Bad Day at Black Rock picked up three Oscar nominations, including a Best Actor nod for Tracy. But Tracy didn't win that year. Instead, Ernest Borgnine won for another movie, for playing the ultimate lovable title character in Marty. And that's a movie you can see here on TCM later today. It's this week's Essential with Robert Osborne and Drew Barrymore. But right now, from 1955, directed by John Sturgis, here are Spencer Tracy and Ernest Borgnine in Bad Day at Black Rock. Thank you. 